How's it going today, folks? Zach here, Rush Peterbilt, Denver. Bringing you guys another 389 flat top. I told you guys we had a bunch coming in, and here's another one that we just got in here recently. This is a uh, 2021 Peterbilt 389 with a 72 inch flat top. The uh, hood, cab, and sleeper is a uh, pooter gray with uh, black fenders. It's kind of hard to see from this angle, but I'll going to be doing a quick walk around showing you guys the ins and outs of this truck if you guys are familiar with any of my other videos you kind of know the drill uh, any questions comments concerns please leave them below I'm happy to help we just got this thing in pretty recently we've been kind of doing the two-tone um, hood cabin sleeper with the different colored fenders kind of an old classic look we like to go between this and kind of the seminal paint schemes but um, these ones are going to be specced very similar, or this truck's specced very similar to the ones we have in the past. 280 wheelbase, 565 Cummins X15 under the hood with an 18 speed. Does have 2050 torque. We got a bunch of mountains around here, so we like to um, bring those 20, bring that 2050 torque for all the guys that are going up and down the mountains. To give you that extra pulling power. Got a 150 gallon fuel tank here on the passenger side, 110 on the uh, driver's side. Full access integrated toolbox steps here to get to the deck plate. Got your pogo stick, rear window, plenty of grab handles, and uh, incandescent it, in condense it. Um, load lights there. Can't speak today. This one has the 24 5 um, tires and wheels all the way around. We like to switch between the 22.5 and 24.5. They both have their advantages and disadvantages, but personally, I'm a fan of the 24.5s. I think the bigger wheel looks sharp and it gives it a kind of a, just a whole different look. Got the Peterbilt quarter fenders there. Nice LED rear lights and backup light. Holland FW35 fifth wheel plate there. Here's the other sided toolbox access step. Full height access door. Nope, oh, not unlocked. Got the vent there up top. Nice plate over the uh, depth tank there. With your steps and your batteries underneath. Didn't do a drop visor on this one. Why we didn't, I do not know but um, just has a standard visor there. The five bullet lights, pretty standard for guys to uh, put in the LED and uh, add that fifth and sixth bullet light there to kind of bring it all together. We leave them open for guys that want to do horns there. The majority of people we see do do the fifth and sixth light, but we like to give our customers the option. Take you guys inside for a quick peek. <coughs> Standard gauge cluster there on your dash. Heated mirrors, power mirrors, power windows, and power locks. CV radio is already equipped and ready to go. Got the nice headliner interior there, leather. Speakers all the way around with your lights. Got your uh, standard radio climate control, engine brake, here's your um, cluster switch, knob I guess you can call it, cruise control, here's your standard gauge package. For those of you who don't know all the ones we put in here, I'll kind of go through them slowly so you can see them all. In my last video, I asked you guys if you use every single one of these gauges, and I'm curious on this on this video too if you guys, you know, we deck these things out with all these different gauges to give our customers more convenience and more options. So let me know in the comments if you guys used actually every single one of these gauges. I'm really curious. Fifth wheel slide, got your lockers, PTO control, air suspension dump fuel tank selector, auxiliary lights, 
air traction control, rear AC, all that good stuff. There's your air knobs, 18 speed like I said. Nice Peterbilt leather seats on both sides. <coughs> Here's a look at the sleeper here. We pretty much make them all the same, but sometimes we add some variations. <clears throat> Step back here and give you guys a look. Turn on these lights. Overhead compartment there. Here's your closet. Big enough for up to two XL t-shirts. Climate control, clock, fuel fired S-bar heater. Quick fun fact about the S-bar heater. Um, they're making them so efficient now. For those of you who don't know, they use about a Coke can worth of fuel in an eight hour period. So if you're parked, sleeping for seven, eight hours, um, that S-bar heater is only gonna draw a Coke can worth of fuel from your fuel tank. So pretty efficient, just saves you a ton of a ton of fuel and, and um, an APU too. Overhead compartment there. There's your full access door. Another overhead compartment here. You can put a number of different things in. Here's kind of your pull out tray system. This comes out to eat on, do work on, do your laptop. This opens up. <coughs> These ones, oh, there it goes. Has your tubs in here for different storage, clothes, whatever you'd like for it to be. Another one down there on the bottom. Overhead compartment there for some more storage. I'm six foot five and I can fit perfectly fine on these um, on these beds. So plenty of room for a lot of you bigger guys. Here's a good look at the cab from the sleeper point of view. Good look there. <coughs> Only 875 miles. This must have been the lead truck from the factory. As many of you guys know, you can do so many different things to these trucks as far as customization, options, stuff like that. I'm gonna attach a link to a, another video that I did and some pictures of um, one of the trucks that we did here of all the cool different things you guys can do. Um, you can do bumpers, um, air cleaner lights, cabs, sleeper lights, drop visors. You can add bullet lights up there on the top or horns. You can paint the tanks. You can do full fenders. Um, you can do full deck plates, chrome deck plates all the way all the way back to the fifth wheel. So many different cool things you can do to these guys all here at our location. So anyway, like I said before, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, any interest, Please feel free to reach out. I'm here to help you guys any way I can and uh, here to answer any questions. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe. Look forward to bringing you guys another video soon. Have a good day.